In this question, we're asked to find the exact value of x such that the following is true. So we're dealing with three. Arctan means tan inverse, so tan inverse of x subtract 2 plus pi is equal 0. So just deal with this like a normal equation. Let's rearrange uh, this to try and make x a subject. So let's subtract pi from both sides. So 3 inverse tan of x subtract 2 is equal to negative pi. Let's divide both sides by 3. Tan inverse of x subtract 2 is going to be uh, negative pi by 3. And then we could apply tan to both sides. So x subtract 2 would be equal to tan of negative pi by 3. And lastly, um, uh, x therefore would be 2 plus tan inverse, oh sorry, tan of negative pi by 3. Now calculator out. At tan of negative pi over 3 gives me negative root 3. So this here, x, is going to be equal to 2 subtract negative root 3, and I'm done. That's the exact value. Obviously, substitute that back in here to check it works, but there you go. You have your exact value of x. Next, we're asked to solve between negative pi and pi the following equation. So I'm just going to take a, a, a photo there, just, and we're asked to give our answer in terms of pi. So just take this down here, like that. Okay, firstly I look at that, and the first thing I think is, well, I can't really solve that because that's 2 theta and that's single theta. So let's change everything in terms of single theta. You should know your identities, cos of 2 theta, Let's have it with signs in it, it would be better because everything then would be with signs. That's 1 subtract 2 sine squared of single theta. So let's use that. Let's apply that. 1 subtract 2 sine squared single theta. I'm putting that in place here. Subtract sine theta. Subtract 1 is equal to 0. Uh, the 1 subtract the 1 disappears. And I could uh, multiply everything by negative 1 and get 2 sine squared theta, add sine theta is equal to zero. Okay, now it was both negative, but I've just multiplied it by negative one. Factorize sine theta out. So sine theta, you'd have two sine theta, add one is zero. So two sets of answers, namely where sine theta is zero or sine theta is negative a half. So theta is the inverse sine of zero, and that would be zero. Our theta is the inverse sine of negative a half, and that would give um, inverse sine at negative 0.5. That gives negative pi by 6. Yeah, we're looking in terms of pi. So theta is negative pi by 6. So going between uh, negative pi and pi, let's draw out the sine graph and see all the places where we'd have an answer. Sine looks like this, and we're only looking between negative pi and pi, so we only care between here and here. Theta is zero, uh, there'll be an answer here, here, and here. However, we are strictly between negative pi and pi, we're not including these, so these two will not include, and it will just be this zero here. However, this one, negative pi by six, is going to be here like that. It's obviously pi by six. Uh, back from zero, so there'd be one here, pi by six, um, forward, and this is from negative pi. So the other answer here would be pi plus pi, uh, sorry, pi, negative pi plus pi by six. So our, our values here, this would be negative five pi by six. So our answers for theta, therefore, here are our answers for theta. Theta is equal to negative 5 pi by 6, theta is negative pi by 6, or theta is 0 are our three answers, and we're done.